Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Dr. Tapati's presentation. Myself, Dr. Tapati Vansate. Today in this video, I'm going to discuss about diagnostic importance of enzymes. I have taken the contents of this video from a book, namely Biochemistry written by U. Satanarayana and U. Chakravani. Clinical enzymology deals with quantitative estimation of enzymes mainly in body fluids in normal as well as in the disease conditions. Body fluids include serum or plasma, urine, cerebrospinal fluid, gastric juice, etc. Whereas the most commonly used body fluid for this purpose is serum. Enzymes in the circulation are divided into two groups. First group is actually plasma specific enzymes or plasma functional enzymes. Second group is non plasma specific enzymes or plasma non functional enzymes. Plasma specific enzymes present in the plasma and they have specific functions to perform. Generally, these enzyme activities are higher in plasma as compared to in the tissues. They are mostly synthesized in the liver and enter the circulation, decrease in liver diseases. Examples are lipoprotein lipase, plasmin, thrombin, cholinesterase, ceruloplasmin, etc. Fair is non-plasma specific enzymes are either totally absent or present at a low concentration in the plasma as compared to their levels found in the tissues and perform no known function in blood. Therefore, non-plasma specific enzymes are actually tissue specific you can consider. They are synthesized in different organs including liver, heart, muscle and brain. Different enzymes increase in different organ diseases. Therefore, for, for the diagnosis of any disease, we generally measure non-plasma specific enzymes level in the serum. Examples are alanine aminotransferase or ALT, lactate dehydrogenase or LDH, acid phosphatase, amylase, etc. Estimation of the activities of non-plasma specific enzymes is very important for the diagnosis and prognosis of several diseases. The normal serum level of an enzyme indicates the balance between its synthesis and release in the routine cell turnover, whereas the raised enzyme levels could be due to cellular damage, increased rate of cell turnover, proliferation of cells, increased uh, synthesis of enzymes, etc. Serum enzymes are conveniently used as markers to detect the cellular damage which ultimately helps in the diagnosis of diseases. The activities of few plasma enzymes are increased in certain diseases. As for example, the activity of serum amylase is increased during acute pancreatitis. Whereas if you consider about uh, the serum glutamate pyruvate transaminase, that means SGPT level is increased uh, in liver diseases. Whereas SGOD concentration is increased during the heart attacks. Increased level of alkaline phosphatase indicates rickets obstructive jaundice. Acid phosphatase level is increased in cancer of prostate gland. Lactate dehydrogenase activity is increased during heart attacks or liver diseases. CPK activity is increased uh, in myocardial infarction which is the early marker, whereas if you consider about the aldolase, this is the indicator of muscular dystrophy. 5 nucleotidase is the indicator of hepatitis. Increased level of GGT is the indicator of alcoholism. However, sometimes the plasma activities of the enzymes may be lower than normal, which could be due to decreased enzyme synthesis or congenital deficiency. The activity of serum amylase is decreased in a case of liver diseases. Pseudocholinesterase activity is decreased during viral hepatitis, malnutrition, liver cancer, cirrhosis of liver. Ceruloplasmin level is decreased in Wilson's disease. 
glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase in RBC is decreased in congenital deficiency with hemolytic anemia. Let's see serum enzyme profiles and diseases one by one. First of all, let's see serum enzyme profiles in myocardial infarction. Increased level of myoglobin is the earliest marker, however, not cardiac specific. Whereas cardiac uh, troponin I uh, is the early marker and cardiac specific. Cardiac troponin T relatively early marker and cardiac specific, however, elevated in other degenerative diseases. Increased level of creatine phosphokinase MB isoenzyme is a cardiac specific and early marker whereas lactate dehydrogenase 1 isoenzyme is the relatively late marker and cardiac specific whereas aspartate transaminase is not cardiac specific now serum enzyme profiles in hepatic disease alanine transaminase activity is increased in viral hepatitis Aspartic transaminase that is AST level is increased in liver diseases significantly elevated in the obstetric jaundice too or uh, gallstones. Gamma glutamyl transpeptidase or GGT level is increased in alcoholic level, uh, liver diseases where this 5 prime nucleotidase activity is increased in hepatic cholestasis. In muscle disease, creatine kinase isoenzyme MA is increased which is more sensitive. Allulase activity is increased. This is the early marker, but it is not specific for muscle disease. Aspartate transaminase is significantly increased in muscle disease, although it is not specific. Alkaline phosphatase level is increased in rickets and Paget's disease. Both amylase and lipase activities are increased in acute pancreatitis. Level of acid phosphatase is increased in prostate cancer. PSA is also significantly elevated in prostate cancer, but it is not an enzyme. Neuron specific enolase activity is increased in lung cancer, neuroblastoma few chromocytoma etc now let's know diagnostic importance of enzymes in other body fluids and tissues other than serum first of all urine sample urinary amylase is increased in acute pancreatitis beta n acetyl galactosidase activity is increased in renal graft dysfunction Beta glucuronidase activity is increased in the cancers of urinary bladder and pancreas, etc. Lactate dehydrogenase is increased in cerebrospinal fluid in meningitis. Beta glucuronidase activity is increased in gastric carcinoma. In feces, trypsin and chymotrypsin levels are decreased in pancreatic insufficiency and cystic fibrosis. Glucose 6-phosphatase in liver is significantly lower in type 1 glycogen storage disease. Phosphorylase activity in muscle is decreased in MAC Ardell's disease. Glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency in RBC causes hemolytic anemia. Decreased transketolase activity in erythrocytes is used for diagnosis of thiamine deficiency. Cultured fibroblasts and uh, amniotic cells are frequently used for the diagnosis of inborn errors of metabolism, as for example, phenylalanine hydroxylase deficiency in case of phenylketonuria in cultured amniotic cells. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this is helpful for you. Kindly like, share and subscribe this channel and press the bell icon for further notification.